folks. Good evening and namaskara. How are you today? My name is Temi. Me and my colleague are going to represent the meta future for you in this great and exciting conference on India 2.0. Rebooting to meta era. We are as much excited as you are to start the conference and listen to a galaxy of great experts. Only when we have sublime ideas, then only those ideas can be realized. In a meta era, how should we reimagine government and how should we reimagine state capability? If I were betting on one country in Asia to lead, I'd bet on India. If I were betting on two countries to lead, I've often said it, I'd bet on India twice. Economic difference can still be bridged. Digital divide, if we don't bridge now, then it will be too late. Economics 2.0 is about responsible economics. It is responsible public policy and responsible private behavior. India's perception outside of India is better than India's perception in India. danger of democracy by algorithms because if you just rely on the social media then you get a social media bubble. India today following that pandemic has emerged as a much stronger player in the international community. We need new structures, new organizations, new methods of working, new rules, new regulations, if we have to be a country of that size. point of view that India can shape the metaverse comes from Mark himself. is not only a slogan but also a commitment founded on inclusive development to catapult India to its right place in the global community. India no longer will be defined by others. That is an era that is past.
for a healthy and prosperous future. We can be a scientific powerhouse of the world. We have 25,000 startups in this country, nearly 100 unicorns. That gives us an unprecedented opportunity to unleash the entrepreneurial skill sets of this country. Can we pinpoint, give a specific education to every child so that he can really flourish instead of teaching every, the same thing to every, every child? great tradition of storytelling. India can definitely be the, the global hub for content creation. Use technology and keep Shruti intact. We as humans would evolve faster. Defend our country's unique cultural capital, including our spiritual capital. need to assist us to be more inclusive. The human resource aspect of our society that should be made more relevant and more effective this metal. There is a clear transformation and a sense of a nation actually coming into its own. We always had philosophers intervening in these tectonic transformations that have happened in human history. The philosophers have to step in and decide about red lines. That capacity India has got, that is India 2.0.